More and more. And the word revolt means to be disobedient, right? Right, to be rebellious, right? The Lord said his people, right, they revolt more and more, right? They don't want to hearken into his words. You see that? The Lord said my people keep revolting. They keep disobeying me, right? They continue in their idolatry. They continue in their fornication. You see that? Hey, you got all these faggots. And, and this is why people want to follow after the so-called white man. The most gayest, faggotest man upon the face of the earth, man. That's why that we have to separate from the customs of these other nations. Right? Read. Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. The Lord said what? The whole head is sick. The Lord said the whole head is sick. Read. And the whole heart is faint. Right, read. From the sole of the foot. From the sole of the foot. Read. Even until the head. Even until the head. Read. There is no soundness in it. So the Lord said even from the head, even to the foot, there is no soundness in it. What does that mean? Our whole nation as a whole, from top to bottom, all the way from our elders, all the way down to the young generation, is destroyed, man. Right? Look out here on these streets. Look at the state of our elders. Right? Our elders are supposed to be out here teaching us uh, how to uh, how to live, how to be righteous. Right? The elder man is supposed to be teaching a young man, right, to stay out the streets, to stop selling drugs to one another, to stop murdering and killing one another. Right? The elder man is supposed to be teaching the young man how to serve the Lord, how to keep the commandments, right? Our elderly women are supposed to be teaching the young women how to be obedient to their husbands, right? How to dress a modest apparel according to Titus, right? But guess what? When you look at the state of our people, right, everything is ass backwards. Look at our elder men, right? You got our elder men out here, right, smoking cigarettes, defiling their temple. Right? Partaking in all these pagan practices. Right? You see that? So the Lord said, even from the head to the to the sole of the feet, our people are destroyed. Right? Even look at our elder woman. How many of our elder women did we see out here to, uh, tonight half naked? Bugged out their mind. Right? Out here uh, bugged out. Drunk. Right? Out here smoking cigarettes. Getting high off this fake, uh, fake ass GMO weed. Right? So our elders are destroyed in these last days. And that's why the young generation is destroyed. Right? That's why you got 14, 15, uh, 15 year old young black men in the city of Chicago murdering and killing each other. Right? You gotta ask yourself this question. How the hell did a young 13, 14 year old get his hand on the AK-47? Right? How the hell did a 14 year old young man get his hand on the shotgun? Right? How did that happen? Right? Because the damn devil, the so-called white man, is putting guns and drugs in our communities. Right? We? But wounds and bruises and pu but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, they have not been closed. What's going on, brother? What's going on, brother? You ever heard? I just want to hear the word. You want to hear the word? I'll pay you. You already know what's going on? So you heard this message before, right? All right, so according to the Bible, who would be your uh, nationality? Judah, all praises. Get his brother in here. All praises to the Most High. All right, so you already know you're from the tribe of Judah, right? So you will be an Israelite according to the Bible, right? All right, so in these last days, what should we be doing in these last days? Knowing that we Israelites. Preparing for work. All right, we gonna help you out. Let me get uh, Deuteronomy 10 to 12. You already did? Hey, that's the spirit, right? You got, uh, what you got? Yeah, that's a prophecy, but we gonna show you what God uh, requires of you being an Israelite, right? Because it's one thing to know you an Israelite. It's, right, it's one thing, that's right. So it's one thing to know you an Israelite, but being an Israelite, God requires something from us. Let me get Deuteronomy 28, and let me get uh, verse one. Bend it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel. And now, who? And now Israel. Israel. Now Israel. So you know you were Israelite from the tribe of Judah, right? So let's see what God said. Read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Being an Israelite, the Most High God requires something from us, right? Just like you go to work, right? So when you go to work, your uh, boss or your CEO or your supervisor, they require you to do a certain position, right? 
All right, so the same thing with the Most High God. Being his chosen people, the Most High God requires us to do something, read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Oh, so we have to fear him, right? So we're going to show you how to do that, read. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. Of what did God require of us? To keep the commandments. How do we fear the Lord? To keep the commandments. How do we show God that we love him? To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. For thy work. For thy good. Good. For thy work, for, for thy, thy good. good. For thy good. So keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments is for our good, right? That's right. So let me get that Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Because I'm going to show you, like being an Israelite and keeping God's commandments, I'm going to show you what God would uh, do to our people for keeping his commandments. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass, that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. And to observe and to do all his commandments. Just some of his commandments. To observe and to do all his commandments. It's the ones I want to do. To observe and to do all his commandments. Oh, so we have to observe to do all his commandments, right? Read. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Wait, what's going to happen if we keep God's commandments? The Lord thy God will set thee on high. We will say if we keep his commandments, he was going to set us on high as a nation of people. Now, look, I'm going to ask you this question, right? When you look at the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American community, are we set on high right now in 2024? Absolutely not, right? We at the bottom right now, right? So how are we, how are we at the bottom? Like, where are, where are the, some of the things that we go through as a people? What are some of the things that we go through as a people? Right. Uh, uh, Redlining, uh -huh. uh, gentrification. Gentrification. Like everything getting denied. Right. Uh, you know, finances. Finances. Right? Like all, that. all that, right? It's, it's all been right? right? It's all been so would you say the things that we go through, are, is that a blessing or a curse that we're going through? Are we going through blessings or curses? What you think? It's, it is a curse, right? Hey, you feel like, hey, that's the right answer. We are going through a curse, right? So I'm going to show you. Read. Huh. To observe and to all his commandments which I, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Right. So are we above all nations? Hell no. The Jews are where the Jew is. That's right. You see that? Because that's right. See, the brother got knowledge. Because look, you just said you from the tribe of Judah, right? So you would be the real Jew. And hey, y'all beautiful sisters come here to worship the Lord. Right? So you... All right. See, see, she's talking about no. Hey, sister, stop, stop praying and come over here and get the word, sis. Right? So look, you see that? <laughs> but look, though, so you would be a Jew. I would be a Jew, right? So the people that's over there in Israel that's claiming to be Jews, like you said, they are Jewish. They're not the real Jews, right? So they're the ones that rule over the earth right now. They own all the banks. They're the richest, uh, richest people upon the face of the earth, right? Right? But the Lord said that that's supposed to be us. We the ones that's supposed to be ruling over the earth. We're supposed to be the wealthiest nation upon the face of the earth. Right? Again? But we not because why why are we not, brother? Why are we not on, uh, above all nations right now? Right? Because the Lord said we broke his commandments, right? Can you read it? Deuteronomy 28 and 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee. So you just said that we curse as a people, right? But the Lord said if we keep the commandments. All these blessings shall come upon thee. So that's why it's so important to keep the commandments because when we keep the commandments, the most high God is going to bring blessings to our nation. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being, being cursed. I'm tired of going through curses. I'm trying to see what these blessings look like. You feel me? Because where I'm from, and you don't see too many blessings. Where I'm from, all you see is people going through poverty. Why from all you see is our people murdering and killing each other? Why from all you see is our people selling drugs to each other? Right? And I'm trying to get up out of that. I'm trying to see what these blessings be like. You see that? But the only way to do that is to uh, serve God by keeping his commandments. Right? Can you read it? Huh. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. And if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thou be in the city. The Lord said that we was going to be blessed in the city. But all our, all people blessing the city right now? Absolutely not, right? Because you look at any city, right? Right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
right? Durham, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. You go to uh, New York, right? Chicago. Are our people living blessed or are they living cursed in those cities? Right? They living cursed, right? Because look, when you look at our communities, right, they got the so called uh, drill music out, right? What are they rapping about on that drill music? Are you on the what? On the drill music, you know about drill music, right? Killing people. But hold, hold on, what, what, what people are they talking about killing them? Are they talking about their own people, right? You see that? So is that, that that's a blessing or a curse? That's a curse, right? So let me get uh, Leviticus chapter 11. Hey, but look, the Lord said, if we keep the commandments, we was gonna be blessed, right? So now we're going to start showing you some of the commandments, right? Let me get Numbers 15, 37, right? So bring it up. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 7. And the swine. What? And the swine. I'm going to ask you a question right now, brother. What is the swine? Do you know what, what animal that is? It's a bird. No, not the swine, right? I said swine, a pig, right? So do you eat pig? You say, huh? Do. All right, so let's see what God said about eating pig. Eat. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. The Lord said, What? He is unclean to you. He can eat it. He is unclean to you. I like pepperoni pizza. He is unclean to you. I like pork chop. He is unclean to you. The Lord said, He is unclean to you, right? Because when you look at a pig, right? What do pigs eat? That's right. Everything. You see that? So, you ever heard the saying, you are what you eat? So, if a pig eat, like you said, crap all day, right, and we put that in our system, what are we really putting in our system? Are we putting things in our system that's going to make us stronger, that's going to uh, make us live a long life, that's going to uh, make us healthy? Now, what are we putting in our system? We put putting things in our system that's going to give us uh, uh, damn, uh, diabetes. We put putting things in our system that's going to give us gout. We put things in our system that's going to give us high blood pressure, right? That's why when you look at uh, the statistics, what race of people lead to high blood pressure? So-called black people, right? What about uh, diabetes? Our people, right? Why is that? You see that? Why, why are our people 40 years old with high blood pressure? 40 years old, you still young. Exactly. That's right. That's what they wanted. But what did God do? God told us that it's unclean to us, right? So, the thing is, we have a choice, right? Let me get Deuteronomy 30 and 15. Right, let me get Deuteronomy 30 and 15, right? Deuteronomy 30 and 15. Because you said that, that's by design, right? That's what they want, right? But it, it ain't about what they want, it's about what God wants. It's about what you decide, right? Nowadays, right? They, uh -huh. they try and results of the New Testament. You uh -huh. give me something in the New Testament that's going to uh -huh. make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just, just so, like, if anyone is listening, you know, like, everybody, like, go back to the New Testament. I know that. Right. It's still living. You know what I'm saying? Of course, yeah. Like, that's hey, what I mean. The Lord said, the Lord said, I come in the volume of the book. So that means the Lord is all through the Old Testament and the New Testament, right? So look, I'm a, we gotta go to the New Testament as well after we finish this though. So bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15. See, I have set before thee this day, life and good, and death and evil. We got a choice. The Lord said, look, you got two choices. You got life and, and uh, good, or death and evil. Read verse 16. And that I command thee this day, to love the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments, and his statutes, and his judgment, that thou mayest live and multiply. That thou mayest what? Live and multiply. The Lord wants us to live and multiply, read. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee. Shall do what? Shall bless thee. Like, like I said, the only way we be blessed as a nation is by keeping the commandments, read. Shall bless thee in the land where thou goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away, so that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away, Worship that's other that's gods and yeah, serve them. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land. That's why our people not prolonging their days upon the land. That's why the Lord is allowing these other nations to murder and kill our people, to oppress our people. You see what happened to Saul your master, right? 
Why do these things happen to our people? Because she's not the only victim. We got thousands and thousands of our people that's been murdered by the hands of these damn devils. Right? Not even been documented. That's right. How many of these murderers and killers have not been documented, like you said? Right. Right? You see that? Because not just saw your mask, you got Trayvon Martin. Right? You got George Floyd. We could, we could go on and on all day. Right? We can sit out here for, for we can sit out here for a month straight and give you every single name of the person that's been murdered by these damn devils. Right? So keep reading. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish in these Salakia, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land. Whither thou passest over the Jordan to go possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this this day against you. That I have set before you life and death. We only got two choices in these last days, brother. You got life and death. So in these last days, either you gonna serve the Lord or you gonna serve Satan. It ain't nowhere in between that, right? That's why the Lord said in Revelation, he said, if you look warm in these last days, he gonna spew you out of his mouth, right? He said, either you gonna be hot or you gonna be cold. Either you gonna serve my heavenly father or you gonna serve Satan, you gonna be destroyed. Read. Blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life. Wait, what did the Lord want us to do? Therefore, choose life. Choose life. The Lord is telling you this day, but you got to choose life. Read. That both thou and thy seed may live. You got kids? How many kids you got? You got two kids, right? So you want your kids to live a long life, right? Right? So you got to teach them the right way. You can't teach them the same thing that the pastor teaches them. You right. can't teach them the same thing that this world teaches them. Right. You got to teach them, that's right, you got to teach them the words of the Lord. That's right. You got to teach them how to be obedient to the words of God so they can live a long life and then they can have children and they can continue to be servants of God. Right? So that was it on that. Uh, Why well, had you have finished that off? Uh, talking about? And go back to uh, Numbers 15 and 37. And we're going to go to the New Testament it's just for you so too. It's so hard to get that discipline, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go through so much to get that discipline. That's right. Like, to really commit to the commandment. That's uh -huh. what I be trying to get to, like, you know, younger people and whatnot. Just, right. That's a lot. But the thing is, though, the thing is, though, we're going to show you, matter of fact, hold that. Let me you know, get. we've been living in this system for so long. And right. it's been going on and going on. And it's like, it's in me. And it's like, I'm trying my best not to. Hey, brother, hey, what's your name, brother? Delton. Who? Delton. Delton. Hey, hey, salute to you, brother. And a brother told me, man, you hopped out the car with your... I got my wife and kids in the car. We literally just right. left my, uh, my big sister, her little restaurant that she got down there. Right. We had our little steaks and whatnot. I seen y'all. I be watching YouTube. I watch Sakari. I watch... Oh, uh, please. I done did my research. Place to the most house. Uh, 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 and hey, make sure this brother. Matter of fact, I got chills right now. Yeah, hey, take take one of my cars. Right right all praise. That's all praise. I know it's real. Hey, look. Yeah, if you scan that QR code on the back, it'll take you to our YouTube channel, right? We at Howard's Camp, right? We based right here in Raleigh, North Carolina, right? Right. You, you, you stay out here in Raleigh. I stay in Jacksonville, North Carolina, but I work out here in Raleigh. Is that, I, I don't know how far that is from Raleigh. Jacksonville, right off the It's Canada. like two hours, man. Two hours? Okay. Well, we got brothers that stay by the coast too. Uh, you, you heard of uh, Half Lot? You know what Half Lot? I know exactly. Yeah, we got brothers that uh, that's in our camp that stay out here. They, sometimes they come out, you know, to the camp. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, if you ever want to come out, and, come out now. Yeah, you, hey, you welcome, look. Look, you welcome to come to our school. You welcome to come to camp. Hey, we got our number on that car. Hit us up. Me? We're gonna show you this real quick. Hey, Let me get Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Hey, real quick. Uh -huh. so what's, what's stopping you from keeping the commandments? How long what, how long have you known about like this information? Like you just found out about it or? I feel like uh in all honesty, I feel like I've known about it all my life. I right. just never actually pursued that. Right, but I'm saying like when when did you find out that you was an Israelite then? I found out uh Five years. Uh -huh. I would say like around 2019. Oh, so yeah. Right before I joined the Marine Corps. Right. And I like started seeing shit and I was like, yo, this is like like what are we doing here? You know, but I had to get out that environment. Right. That's, that's why I like to look at it as like I, I understand that I did 
the Lord putting it on your spirit to get right with him, right? So he woke you up, right? And he's showing you different things. So what he's doing is he's calling to you, right? So you really only have one choice, right? And that's to keep the commandments. That's right. So look, and that's, that's powerful because look, I found out that I was an Israelite, uh, I think it was 2018. So you found out not too long after me. But the thing is, hey look, we can't, we can't, we ain't got time to be planning on these last days, you see what I'm saying? We ain't got time to. See how I'm feeling. Right. I feel you. Right. You gotta put science in play, you gotta put all these things that I've been learning all my life. Right. It's so hard to put all that into one and just think that I'm gonna be doing it. It's like, I it, bro, but it's, right. it's I know, but so but the much. thing is though, like I said, matter of fact, let's read this for you real quick. I want you to pay attention to this real quick. Okay, come. Four and nine. Come. Ecclesiastes four, verse nine. Two are better than one. Lord said what? Two, two are, are better than one. one. Lord said two are better than one. Right, read. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall. The one will lift up his fellow. So Lewis said two are better than one, right? Because you say it's hard, it's hard. It's always going to be hard if you by yourself. That's why you see all these brothers right here. You know what we do? We keep each other in order, right? If I see this brother going off, or if I see this brother going off, they see me going off, you know what we going to do? Hey, brother, you can't be doing that. You got to keep the commandments. Right. You know you ain't supposed to be doing that, brother, right? We go into the law, and we show them according to the scriptures that they will be going off. And they, they got to repent and come back to these commandments. So you said it's hard. It's always going to be hard if you by yourself. That's why you got to come around like-minded brothers. That's why the Lord said Zephaniah 2 and 1, gather yourselves together, O nation not desire. Right. right? So if you're really serious about keeping these commandments and serving the Lord, and you got to come to camp. Even if you don't come to our camp, it might be another camp that you might be interested, uh, interested in. But at the end of the day, you got to get around like-minded brothers so they can, uh, you know, build you up and you can keep these commandments, right? right? Cause in these last days, look, we ain't got time to be like, you know what, Lord? Hey, it's too hard to keep your commandments. The Lord said, the Lord said, my commandments are not grievous. They're not hard to do, right? Go, go ahead. So another one is, I'm trying to look for it and it slipped in my mind, but I'll paraphrase it. He says, draw near unto me and I'll draw near unto you, right? So you have to want to take that first step go towards the Lord, and then he's going to give you that strength to keep the commandments. He's going to stop putting pork in your face, and, and, and you wanting it. He's going to start giving you, like, you're going to start smelling it, it's going to start feeling different. You're not going to want it no more. Eat that I but, promise you, I but, really like But the thing is, it ain't, crazy. right, it ain't, you can't say I don't eat that much, we can't eat it at all. Because look, though, back, right, because look, though, because, hey, look, Hey, when I first came in, I used to struggle with a lot of stuff. I was like, damn, I can't eat that. Oh, damn, I can't smoke that. Oh, hell, I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, I don't wanna. But you know what it is? The Lord put that spirit of zeal on me. I'm like, you know what? Hey, the hell with this. Ain't none of this stuff, ain't none of this stuff changing my life anyway, right? What is smoking weed doing for me? But making me lazy, right? Making me not want to get up and do nothing. I'm sitting in my back pocket. I'm feeling right now like I just want to, you know what I mean? Right. I don't but hey, around hey, but you, hey, look, I hey, hey, no, no, look, hey, hey, brother, you can't do it at all right here. You in the spirit of the Lord. And what did the Lord, and what did the angel, hold on, what did the angel tell Joshua? He said, right now, you on holy ground right now. You see that? You can't be doing that, you feel me? Now, you in the midst of, hey, the Lord said, when two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst of them. So the most High God, his spirit is right here among us right now, right? So you can't defile this temple. You got to be strong right now, brother. So keep, uh, finish that off and then get your precept. Come. It's a lot here. Ecclesiastes 4 9. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. What is that good reward? That good reward is everlasting life. That good reward is inheriting the kingdom of heaven. That good reward is ruling all, over all these other nations that oppressed our people. That's that good reward. Read verse 10. For if they fall, the for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. We lift you up right now. We tell you, hey, brother, the Lord said, according to First Corinthians three and sixteen, you can't defile your temple, because the Lord said if you defile your temple, He gonna destroy you. We don't want the Lord to destroy you. So, hey, right now, hey, you gotta, hey, no, yeah, you don't be, don't pull out that bait. You feel me? 
Hey, the Lord said you can't be doing that. You can follow your temple, right? Keep reading. But woe to him that is alone. Woe to him. The word woe means destruction. The Lord said destruction unto him that is alone. So you can't do it all by yourself, right? Hey, I can't do it all by myself, right? I need these brothers to give me strength, right? Hey, sister, come here the words of the Lord. Uh, You're going to pull right in front right. of this car, okay? Come. Right in front of this car. Now, right bring here. that out after you finish this piece up. Where's she going? She going to pull up? But right. well, woe to him that is alone when he fall, for he has not another to help him up. You ain't gonna have another to help you up. That's why you gotta get around like-minded brothers, right? But he wanna tell you something real quick. Hey, brother. Hey, so I used to smoke cigarettes, right? Uh, black and mild. Hold on, put it, hey, put it on the mic so the camera can get it too. Right. I was gonna say this, look. So I used to smoke cigarettes, black and miles, all that stuff for 19 years, bro. I'm talking 19 years. And one day I just stopped. That's all I'm saying, like, you can fight that spirit. Right? Oh, I'm trying to get over but, but like I just said though, like the scripture just said, you ain't never gonna get over it if you don't come around your brothers. Right? Nineteen years. If I, if I wasn't around my brothers, I'd still be wicked as hell. See that? Y'all gonna? I'm really, I'm really trying to. Oh yeah, I ain't playing no more, bro. Hey look, we see what's going on in the world. Nessa, you see this? Alright, keep pushing forward then for me, bitch. Go ahead and keep pushing forward for me. You know what that is? Go ahead, bro. Chill out. Stop playing, bro. Keep pushing forward. You know what that is? That's sick. I know, I know. My sister's dying. My sister's dying. But look, that's why you gotta come around like minded brothers, though. See that? I love it enough. I love it enough. You all peace up? Alright, Ben. Directly, brother. It's Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Here's the point. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. So what he's saying essentially is that when he comes back, like right now we're in a time of grace, right? That's what you know, the Christian church always talks about grace. When you deal, when you deal with uh, you know, like your, your phone bill, right? They give you a grace period, right? Like five, ten days after it's due. That's the same thing that the Lord is doing. He's giving us grace so that we can come back to him. So that when he does come back, we don't end up in that fire and that sword. You know what I'm saying? So, I would say, you know, fear is a powerful motivator. I ain't trying to be on the, on the having my head sliced off or, or uh, eating bacon. It's beef bacon. It's Check out Bro, I'm getting chills every time y'all say it. It, it ain't worth it. Serious, it like, really ain't worth it. Your life matters so much more to him, right, than anything else. And you know the same thing with your sister as well, right? She needs to come up out of that lifestyle, right? That's not normal. You know, normalcy is a man and a woman. He made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, right? But this world, and like I say this often, this world has had uh, has our people in a vice grip, and and we start believing the things that this world promotes. And where, do, where does it end up? We end up at the bottom, just like the brother was bringing it up. It don't even matter what we do. And he said that these curses are going to stick with us forever. You want me to be completely honest? Come on. I'm now, you have a person. I make about $34 an hour. I also get a disability from the government. $4,500. And that's, but that's, that's why the Lord, but look, that money ain't gonna save you though. That's why the look, that's why the Lord, that's why the Lord said in Proverbs 11 and 21, what do you say? It's a lot, my, my, my bad, it's Proverbs 11 and 4. Somebody get that real quick. All right, bring it up. 
Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not. The Lord said what? Riches profit not. The Lord said your money ain't going to profit you in these last days. Because you know what money that is? Who got their face on that money? Now you tell me who got their face on that money? Okay, but who was Andrew Jackson? Exactly. So what is... Uh, you got a green piece of paper with your slave master face on it. That ain't gonna do nothing for you. Right. You see that? That's the spirit right there. I came here from James 4 and 8. Right. James 5 and 1. Look, look at this. This is James 4 and 8. It says, Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. But here's, here's the point. Go to now, this is chapter 5, verse 1. It says, go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered with the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. He have heaped treasure together for the last days. There's right. another precept talking about that build your treasures for heaven and not on the earth. Right. right? Moths can eat your clothes. Right? People can break into your house and steal your stuff. But what you want to focus on is That's right. All right. That's right. Let's finish this off proper. It's the book of oh, the song. Oh, that is song. Book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. Only your righteousness is going to deliver you. And according to Deuteronomy 6.25, the Lord said, It shall be our righteousness if we shall observe to do all these commandments. You see that? So the only way you're going to be delivered is keeping these commandments and having faith in Christ. That's the only way your money ain't going to save you. You see that? And like I said, you gotta come around like-minded brothers so we can build you up, right? right? Now, let me get uh, right. right. The fringes, right? The fringes. The fringes. Yeah. We was gonna bring that out for you too in Numbers 1537. We just gonna get that. Yeah. So you know that. So look. So you already know that. So look. The Lord said in uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 10. Right, somebody get that Hebrews 10, uh... 26. Yeah. So bring that out, uh, your piece up. Oh, uh, yeah, I got, I got Psalms. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, 119, verse 54, 59. I thought of my ways, and turned my feet unto thy testimony. You thinking on your ways right now, right? You said, look, I know what I'm doing is wrong, but sometimes it's hard, right? But like I said, that's why you gotta come around like-minded brothers, so we can build you up, right? right? It's always gonna be hard if you by yourself, Absolutely. right? So the Lord said, read, I thought of my ways. You got to think on your ways, right? Because like I said, you might think that pork tastes good, but guess what? It's going to give you all type of uh, health disorders, right? You go, you want to be, look, how, how old is you, if you don't mind me asking? 20, so you young, right? So look, you want to uh, be 40 years old with high blood pressure? You want to be 40 years old with diabetes? So you got to stop eating that stuff, brother. All that stuff got parasites in it. All that stuff ain't I'm good for you. But all look, all but look though, but look though, no let me, though. but look though, look, look. Hey, keep that thought. Let me get Cyrac 34 and uh, 26. Click on that uh, sword. Let me get Cyrac 34 and 26. Cause I got it, I got it. Hey, look. Yeah, 34 and 26. Right. So look, cause you said, look, the brother just said, he said, look, I eat pork, but I still detox though. But you say it ain't really doing nothing for you, right? I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. Bring this up. The book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 26. Yeah. I think I might want to start at 25. Yeah, start at 25. Huh, verse 25. Uh -huh. He that washes himself uh -huh. after uh, the touching of a dead body. Uh. According to the law, when you touch a dead body, you got you got you going to be unclean for seven days, right? So it said, he that washes himself after touching a dead body, read. If he touch it again, what avail is his washing? So who was the point of you washing if you go touch the dead body again? So look, you touch the dead body, and then you go through your period of cleansing, and then you touch it again. What was the point of washing? Right. Like he read. 
So is it with a man that fasted? For a man that fasted, right? Because you're supposed to fast to stay in the spirit, right? Read. That fasted for his sins. You fast for your sins, right? You give an atonement or an offer for your sins, right? And do what? And go with again. And go with again uh -huh. and do it the same. And do it the same. So what was the point of that? You like I detox, but the Lord like, look, what was the point of you detoxing if you go do the same thing over and over again? You might as well not even do it. Read. Who will hear his prayer? Who will hear your prayers? Because the Lord said in John 9 31, he said, I don't hear the prayers of sinners. Like the paraphrase right? Read. Or what does his humbling profit? So what is that gonna profit you? If you detoxing and you still putting that toxins back inside your body, it's not going to profit you nothing. Right? So that was it on that? All right, so let me uh, finish that off where I had to. Psalms 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimony. This is King David. He said, I thought on my ways and I turned my feet unto, my te unto your testimony. I made haste. What? I made haste. Look, you got to make haste, brother, because look, you said you knew... Uh, back in 2019 that you was an Israelite. It's 2024. So the time is approaching that their destruction is coming. You see, you said you was in a uh, military, right? So you already know what's going on over there in Israel. You already see what's going on around the world. What you think Russia and China finna do to America? What you think Iran finna do to America? Don't you see World War III is approaching? Right? So what that mean? Does that mean we got time to stay in sin? That means we got to repent. We got to come back to these commandments, right? See Read. I made haste. And did what? I made haste. I took all day. I, I made haste. haste. I waited for eight years. I, I made, made haste. haste. So the Lord said in these last days, we got to make haste, right? Do you know what that means to make haste? What does that mean? To make haste. Uh-huh. Uh, that like steadfast. So you're right, right. So be steadfast. That's right. That means to hurry up. Because I don't want nobody thinking that I'm a uh, stolen fucking valor, right? So I'm going right. to go ahead put that in the camera, <laughs> right, right, because right, right, right. just for y'all, uh, y'all. No, that's all good. Right, so bring it up. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Oh, King David said, I made haste and I delayed not to keep thy commandments. So we can't delay not to keep God's commandments, right? So like I said, if you really want to get these spirits off you, and you really want to change, and you want to put off that old man, you got to come around the camp so we can build you up, right? Cause look, I ain't gonna let this brother eat pork. No matter how how uh, mad he get, hey, hey man, I'm starving. Man. I want some. Hey, I'm I I'm feeling right, but look, like, he, what do I do? Like, but, that's why I'm trying to figure it out. Like, what you mean you still gotta work? No, but look, so what you mean you gotta? You ain't no work wrong with working though. That's what I'm saying. It ain't it ain't no wrong with working, right? But as far as breaking the commandments, right? We trying to get you a part of that. So you say that you eat swan, right? So you gotta stop doing that, right? It's not it's not going against the commandments to work. It ain't nothing wrong with that. All, all these brothers up here, was, yeah, most of these brothers. Hey, look, hey, look. He he was in the military too. He retired though now, so hey, he good. Yeah, he living good. I'm trying to I'm trying to be like him one day. You feel me? Right, right. Yeah, bro. I was already on it when I got up. Bro, right. But look, Right, but look, hey, all the all the brothers up here, hey, we, we gotta work, you feel me? Cause we gotta make our we gotta take care of our families, right? But the Lord, but King David said, I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Right? So that's one commandment that you know you gotta start keeping. No matter how hard it is. Right. Right? Hey look, we'll pray for you. Hey, hit hit us up on that number. Hit us up, say, hey look, bro, hey, I'm going through it. Well, I'm trying to stop. Right? You see that? Nah, I got my, my cost. All right. You got to head out. All right, all praise, all praise, all right? So look, so like I was saying, look, you got to start keeping these commandments. Look, if you got to, hit us up. Anytime you feel a weak, anytime you're not in the spirit, say, look, bro, hey, look, I'm feeding this port right now. I need y'all brothers to pray for me. Give me, give me some of these precepts. Hit me up. I don't give a damn if it's two in the morning. Right, right. You feel me? Hit me up. Hey, bro. Hey, look. Hey, I got hey, I got these demons on me, man. Hey, Satan in my head telling me to eat this swine. I'm like, hey, hell no, nah, brother. Hey, we're going to bring out these precepts. Right, right. You feel me? So that's what we do. That's what the brotherhood is for. That's right? right. We are, the Lord put us together to lift each other up. 
right? The more put us together so we can stand strong together, right? Fuck y'all. Shut up. Right, you Fuck. see that? And we ain't go, hey, look, yeah, can let them, let them uh, faggots do what they do. We ain't worried about that, right? Right, we out here for uh, to teach the brother, right? You see that? That's Satan trying to take away the world, right? Chill out. Go the fuck the other way, T. Right, I don't care. Go the other way. Ain't no... Look, G, I love you, bro, but go ahead. Because Leviticus chapter 19, verse 2. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. You see, you see, uh, these spirits get, these spirits get riled up, right? Hey, that's prophecy. That's Matthew 10, 34. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 2. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel and say unto them, Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be holy. For I am the Lord your God. I am holy. That's why the Lord said we have to be holy. Right? We can't partake, right, in the wickedness of these other nations. Right? So yes, hey, our people gotta separate from that. Right? Our people gotta separate from the ways of these other nations. Right? So hey, they gotta repent. Right? You see that? And the brother gotta stop eating that swan. Right. We gotta stop smoking that uh that bait. Right? He gotta keep his he got Hey, look, yeah, he got to keep his uh, temple cleansed, right? Hey, I'm going to get a couple more, and I'm going to pass it out to the next brother for the closer. Right? So let me get Matthew 4 and 17. You got a piece of Come. All praise, right? You see that, brother? You see, all, you see how when we bring out the words of God, all these distractions come about? You know what that is? Let me get uh, Mark 4 and 14. Right? And then when you get to hold back, matter of fact, hold what you got. Let me get Matthew uh, chapter uh, 10. Oh. Or Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. Read on. Right? So bring it up. The book of Mark chapter 4, verse 14. The sower soweth the word. We out here trying to sow the word right now. We, trying to, we out here trying to feed your spirit with the words of the Lord. Read. And these are they by the wayside uh -huh. where the word is sown. Right. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. Who cometh? Satan cometh immediately. Satan can hop on anybody. Right. Satan can hop on your family. Right. Satan can hop on your wife. Right. Satan can hop on anybody that's walking by right now. You see that? Teach. Read. And taketh away the word that was sown in thy heart. And that's powerful because, hey, look, they tried to take you away, but the Lord put in your spirit to come back, right? Because right? the Lord sees something in your spirit right. that's mighty, right. right? The Lord wants you to be, want you to be a mighty man right. upon the face of the earth. Right. The Lord wants you to stand up for righteousness in these last days, right? right? You see that? So that's powerful, brother. Like I said, you got to come around and we got to build you up so we can start keeping these commandments. And then one day, you can be out here doing what we doing. You could be out here waking up the lost sheep, right. trying to teach them to repent That's and right. come back to the commandments. We and, and this is, you know, there's also another priest. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go right. finish that off real quick. Uh, and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts, and these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. And this brother receiving the word with gladness, right? So get your piece up. And uh, what you got? Right, bring it up. Book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. Then Yahweh Shah, then say if Yahweh Shah unto him, get thee hit, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. We gotta say, get thee hit, Satan, right? And we trying to bring out the words of the Lord. And we only supposed to serve the Lord, right? right you see that? So bring that out. What you had a piece of? Oh, I was telling you. Tell right there. Uh, you know, it says, uh, you know, uh, one of the one of the words again. I'm paraphrasing is uh, that your own family, your own house. It says your house will be the first ones that turn against you, and that's what's going to happen. That's what happened to all of us. All of our all of our families don't deal with us the same way. Just like when you enter this truth and you do this word, the same thing is going to happen to you. But that's why you have brothers and you have to stay around like-minded just like you because we know the struggle that goes on with dealing with these other families, dealing with this word. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you're feeling convicted because it's in your spirit. That's right. The Lord don't give his spirit. The Lord don't give his spirit to everybody. You know, we could tell this guy right here with the big nose, we could tell him 20 different 
you know, precepts and he'll, he won't understand nothing because it's not for him. He only made it for you. He made it for not them, definitely not them. He made it for that brother right there. He made it for that sister right there. He made it for that brother over there holding security, right? He didn't make this word for everybody. He said his word is only for the children of Israel, right? Right. And the only ones that can understand his word are the children of Israel, right? right? I'm doing the seed of the man, so my, my wife, right. she, uh, uh, mother is Caucasian. Okay. She's still good, right? And her father is... My yeah. father is... What's her father now? Fully African-American. Okay, all yeah. praise. All praise. Yeah, she good. She's still good. You already know that. He according to Numbers chapter uh, 1, verse 18, right? It's about the seed of the father, right? But you got a piece up? All right, I'm. Who coming up next? Who coming up? Uh, all right, Kyle, so look, I'm going to get a few more, uh, brother. Now I'm going to pass it on to the other captain. All right? I'm going to give you a couple more piece ups. All right, let me get Matthew. All right, we're going to give you this last one. Let me get Matthew 417. And look, like I said, hey, look, if you serious about doing this work, brother, hit us up. We got that number on that card, and we got our YouTube channel on there. So scan that code on the back and subscribe to that YouTube channel, all right? Y'all down here. Yeah, so we be out here uh, Fridays and Saturdays, right? We be we teach at different locations, right? So you know where Moore Square Park at? Moore yeah. Yeah, so we, we be over there teaching sometime too on uh, Saturday. And on Fridays, on Fridays, we teach out here. And sometimes we teach here Saturday night too. And then we be, uh, yeah, hit up the email. Right. So yeah, so we be out here. We got we got a, a school out here too. We got uh, classes that you can come to. Uh, That's what I need. Yeah. And on my life. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, we go live every Wednesday night and we teach lessons on uh, every Wednesday night at eight o'clock. All right. Right. So, so we go do this last one. Let me get back to four seventeen. I'm gonna uh, pass it up to the cat. Book of Matthew chapter four verse seventeen. And from that time, Yahweh Shah began to preach and to say, Repent, what? Repent, what? Repent. For the kingdom of heaven. What? For the kingdom of heaven. For the kingdom of heaven. Is that hand. Is that what? Is that hand. Is that hand. So let me tell you, week in and week out, the kingdom of heaven is at hand for you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? If you didn't know you're living in the last days, if you want to escape the death, destruction, the famine, and the pestilence that's coming to the earth, you gotta come back to the Lord, you gotta repent, and you gotta keep his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Uh, but with that, we wanna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and Shalom. Put your shoulder! Put your shoulder! Put your shoulder! Put your shoulder!